Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. Happens to be also Taco Tuesday. And it happens to be our day for the community cuisine. Mm. So we thought let's go all out, make a big, huge Mexican feast tomorrow. Yes. But we wanted your ideas on what we should make for our community cuisine for Cinco de Mayo. And our viewers did not disappoint. They never do. Never? And never. just looking at these pictures <gasps> makes me hungry. Ooh. I'm already yes, hungry. Yes, me too. Oh, that looks so good. It does. Okay, let's take a look at some of our viewers and what they said we should make tomorrow. Laura Montague said, taco salad or burritos with everything on the burritos. We both love taco salad. I love, yeah. love taco salad. Yeah. I eat that probably once a week at you? home. You? Yeah, I make it. <gasps> look at you. I love taco salad. Yeah. I just, it's, I feel healthy when I eat it. Cheese, sour cream, beef, yes. I don't know if it is healthy, but I but think it is. But it tastes good to me. It tastes I like delicious. It. Thank you, Laura Montague. Uh, next we have, I believe, Paula. Paula Rogers yeah. said, I like all of it, but how about shrimp or fish tacos? Did we make fish tacos here once? Did yes, we? we did. Did we? Yes. We did. I don't even remember. <laughs> yes, because I got when? the fish, and uh, yes, it was delicious. What did Kaylee say? Oh, they yeah, were amazing. Yeah, I remember they were amazing. That was Why one of those. I that? Because I, I love fish tacos. I don't know, but it was good. With halibut, I believe, is what Oh, I they're did. so good. Oh, I Thank do remember you getting halibut because I made a joke about yeah. it just for the halibut. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I remember. There you go. All right. Thank you, Paula. I love fish tacos. Mm -hmm. I love the grotto. Have you been to the grotto? I love the grotto. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, Laura Beth Urim. Did I say that right, Kelly? Beth Urim? Uh, Beth Urim, I think. Laura Beth Urim mm -hmm. said enchiladas or burritos enchilada style or enchilada casserole. Mm -hmm. Can you tell him voting for enchiladas, <laughs> Tihi? Well, also, another good one is chimichangas mm -hmm. with lots of sour cream, guacamole on top. Mm -hmm. I agree with all of that, Laura. You know, when you can't figure out what to make, I've done this two weekends in a row, just kind of a, a Mexican enchilada with a little verde sauce, beef, cheese, all that stuff. Yes, that's good stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, first of all, I love enchiladas. I love burritos enchilada style. And remember, a few weeks ago, we made egg rolls and we fried them. Yeah. Chimichungas are kind of similar. Okay. So that's a great option, love Laura. Yeah. Thank you so much, Laura. All right. Up next, we have Sherry Qualls. Sherry Qualls said, I was born and raised in California with amazing Mexican mm -hmm. food. What I miss most is chunky salsa oh. with a zip. Haven't been able to find it here in the Ozarks. Oh. That's a good idea, though. That is a good idea. See, I like both kinds of salsa. I like the really, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you dip it yeah. in the thin salsa? Yeah. Then I, in Texas, we would call the thicker salsa, salsa pico de gallo. Okay, I love that. And, but I also like thicker, I don't, all the salsas are good to me, though. Yeah, I think pico stands alone, and then sauces are different. You've got some chunky salsa and some. And then you also have the hot sauce that's very just in Ooh, the bottle no that's can hot do. sauce. I can do that. Yeah. yeah, but that's a great, Sherry, that's awesome. Hopefully we can make some for you, yeah. maybe. Thanks, Sherry. Up next, we have Charlotte Krotzer. Krotzer? Mm -hmm. Charlotte, we love you. Falautas and barracho beans. Having lived in San Antonio, Texas, Mexican food is my favorite. Charlotte, I will tell you this. I love falauta so much. As a kid, that was one of our go-tos. Was it? At Poncho's Mexican restaurant. And we would dip it in salsa, mm -hmm. sour cream, and cheese dip. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Kelly, I'm literally growling. I know. I know you're, my stomach. You're, yeah. I, I love you. falauta so much. Thank you, Charlotte. Up next, we have Gracie Miller. Gracie Miller says, yummy carne asada tacos. Sound delicious. And I agree. Mm. That's amazing. I associate carne asada tacos with like street tacos. Oh, you do? I, I, it, I have that image in my head. It's more of that. Is that more like? It's steak. Oh, the right. carne asada is the right. steak. And you put, the, like we made that one time with the little cabbage on it. Yes, I and got the, you. And yeah. the soft corn tortillas. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's so good. So good. Thanks, Gracie. I agree with you. Up next, we have Amanda Mickle. Michael? Mickle? Mickle, maybe? Well, I'm sorry, Amanda, if I messed up your name. I apologize. Chicken. Cheese and rice and queso dip. I just oh, put yeah. it simply. Yep. Chicken, cheese, it's rice. Easy. You were right, Kelly, when you said you could just make a lot of different things and then just throw it on a plate and it's delicious. You do. I love that. It's just like a Mexican yes. hobo stew. I do that quite regularly. I love it. Yep. Thanks, Amanda. We also have Jamie Davenport. He said ray, red and green chili burritos, tacos, and tostados. I like tostados. I love tostados. If I go to Taco Bell. That, I used to get those all the time. Weren't they so good? Then? Yes. I would either get a, I'd get a bean burrito uh -huh. and a tostada. Yep, so good. I crunchy, love them. Crunchy, crunchy. Yes. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Uh, we have Trina Green. Trina Green said, shrimp quesadillas with all the fixins. It would be quick and delicious meal. Great for people who want great food, but quickly. Uh -huh. I do love any kind of quesadilla. Yeah, me too. I love any kind. Is that our last one? I think there was our last one. Was it? We've got great options, though. Okay, we really, really do. Now it's, we're going to have to so you know, buckle down. So I'm going to make a couple of dips. 
Okay, I'm not telling what we're making yet for cuisine because we still have to pick. Yeah. But I know we're going to incorporate Kaylee, and I heard a rumor that Cammie Jenkins tomorrow is doing something with a pinata. Well, ah, I didn't know that. We have two musical performances from our friends from Mexico, Canela. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's going to be we're going all out. It's a celebration. It is. I want a sombrero. I don't know where to buy one. I don't have one. I don't either. Mm -hmm. And you would think going up in Texas, I would have you would. some sort of. Don't you have a cowboy hat that looks pretty? Uh, you wore one one time. I don't know. Just reminds it's me. It's my dad, Stetson, but I yeah. don't think it fits in with Cinco with de Mayo, what you're though. Do? No. Okay. All right. So tune in tomorrow to find out what we're going to make for our uh, yes. community cuisine. We'll ask for your feedback live, of course, yes. during it as well. And then Kelly's going to make her stuff, and Kaylee's going to make... It's going to be a big celebration. Yeah, we love it. We're celebrating today with May the 4th be with you, and tomorrow mm -hmm. we're going to celebrate as well. All Every right, coming up, it is record time with a twist. Don't go away. This kind of twist? We're going to be right here. Is this what you want, Kelly? Yes. Right here? That's right. Okay. Ah!